Hi, today we are making easy honey sesame chicken recipe. Honey sesame chicken is a very easy recipe. It is not exactly our family recipe, but my daughter loves it so much. It's actually a Western version of like sweet and sour chicken. My daughter loves it, especially when we are in the services. Services in the UK means that it's the rest area along the highway or the motorway where they have restaurants and outlets and toilets and things like that. It is somewhat like the sweet and sour chicken that I make at home and it has sesame seed to give it a nutty taste and also some honey to make it sweet. Hi, I'm Loretta, Nonya Recipe. Nonya Recipe is a fine place for fabulous food and I share with you my food journey. So today we're going to make easy honey sesame chicken. If you want to entertain guests, this is an absolute simple and prepared beforehand recipe and I'll show you some of the tricks that I use. So stay on and let's go. You will need 600 grams chicken breast or boneless chicken thighs. Cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces. Set aside. I have four tricks or tips under my sleeve. Separate the egg to get the egg white. We're going to marinate the chicken now. To the chicken, add 2 cloves of chopped garlic, 2 cm of chopped fresh ginger, freshly grated black pepper, 1 tablespoon soy sauce, half a teaspoon salt, half teaspoon bicarbonate of soda, 1 tablespoon tapioca flour and the egg white. Mix thoroughly, making sure that the chicken pieces are covered by the marinade. Cover with a cling film and leave it in the fridge for at least one hour to marinate or overnight. Now we are going to prepare the tapioca flour for coating. Place the flour in a tray or a container and spread it out. Spritz the flour with the water spray all over the surface and let it rest for about 10 to 15 seconds. You will see clumps of the flour. Whisk the flour and then repeat the process for another 4 to 5 times. This clumpy flour will make the coating crispier. This is trick number 1. This is the texture that we are looking for. It's like fine breadcrumbs. Remove the chicken from the fridge and coat the chicken pieces with the flour. Press the flour onto the chicken so that it will be a thick layer. Shake off the excess flour. You can use a sieve to assist that, but make sure that the flour is not rubbed off the chicken pieces too much. Set aside for about 15 minutes. So you see the chicken pieces are now coated with a thick layer of flour. In a wok or frying pan, heat enough oil for deep frying. Heat the oil to 180 degrees Celsius and add in the chicken pieces in one layer. Fry the chicken until lightly coloured, turning once or twice. Then remove it and set aside. Leave it for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, remove the flour bits in the pan with a little sieve. Heat the oil to 200 degrees Celsius. Add in the chicken pieces and fry for another 2 to 3 minutes until nicely coloured and crispy. Remove, drain and set aside on kitchen towels. The chicken is now very crunchy. So tip number two is double frying. To make the sauce, combine all the sauce ingredients in a bowl. 5 tablespoons honey, 3 tablespoons brown sugar, 4 tablespoons soy sauce, 4 tablespoons ketchup, Six tablespoons water, one and a half tablespoons vinegar, 
and 1 tablespoon tapioca flour. We also need 2 tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds and 1 tablespoon of sesame oil. Pour the sauce into a wok or pan over medium heat. Stir until the sauce becomes thick and comes to a gentle boil. I'm going to remove half of the sauce to put aside for next time because now I'm only serving half a portion. Add in the chicken and toss so that the chicken pieces are coated with the sauce. Add in the sesame oil. Looks like I've taken up too much of the sauce, so I'm going to add extra. Here you go, that's much better. And we're going to sprinkle it with half the sesame seeds. Toss it about so that it is coated with the sesame seed and then dish out and it's ready to be served. Here you go served on a plate of rice. Garnish with the remaining sesame seeds and chopped spring onions. So here's the honey sesame chicken which is very easy to make and it tastes lovely and it can be prepared beforehand. So here goes. Mm. I hope you will try this recipe. The easy sesame chicken is very versatile and it can be prepared beforehand. This brings us to trick number four. The chicken can be prepared ahead. After the first fry, the chicken can be stored in the fridge or freezer and reheated or fried for the second time before serving. The chicken can be fried twice and then stored in the fridge or freezer and heated up before serving in the oven or in an air fryer. If you're entertaining, this saves a lot of time. So, I hope you like the recipe. For more chicken recipes and other easy Chinese recipes, do click here. And if you find my video useful, please don't forget to click like and hit the subscribe button and the notification button. So, until the next time, until the next round, see you then. Bye-bye. Thank you, 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 thank you.